Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by yesterday afternoon in the midst of the haunting going live and everything going on with Call of Duty there. We got some absolutely fantastic news for the future of Call of Duty. News that we have quite literally been waiting 13 plus years for at this point so as we dive into it today if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications because every single day i got you covered with all things going on in cod whether it's mw3 warzone you name it you're gonna find it right here and if you enjoy this video if you're excited about the details we're talking about be sure to hit that like button as well it's always seriously appreciated but yesterday phil spencer had like a sit down podcast with xbox in which he was talking about a bunch of different things with the company in general and several of those things relate directly to Call of Duty because of course, earlier on this week, it became official. Xbox now owns Activision Blizzard King or Microsoft owns Activision Blizzard King. And with that, the future looks very different from what we've got now. So initially, Charlie Intel reports saying on the Xbox podcast, Xbox's Phil Spencer says Activision Blizzard games will not be on Game Pass in the near future. He says Activision statement last week on Activision Blizzard King titles on Game Pass in 2024 is probably the most accurate. Says this is because the regulatory process took so long. They only got started on that work last week. So we initially talked about this a few days back, but for those of you interested in whether or not Modern Warfare 3, for instance, is going to be available on Game Pass on day one, or, you know, Black Ops 2 is going to be available on Game Pass here soon. 2024 is reportedly the earliest that we'll see any Call of Duty titles make their way to Game Pass. So you uh, can play those for free if you have that Game Pass subscription, obviously. So for those interested in that, that's the rough time frame you can expect there. And of course, I'm sure Phil Spencer, Xbox and or Activision is going to update things once we get closer to dates in which we will see those titles appear on Game Pass. Moving on from that, Phil Spencer also said on the Xbox podcast that he's visiting King this week and Activision. Activision and Blizzard next week says he's going to start the process of sitting down with all the various development teams. So this would be, you know, Infinity War, Treyarch, Raven, so on and so forth to understand future games and ask each team their passion and what they want to work on. This is actually a pretty big deal because as we know right now, Call of Duty has a million support studios, right? We've got, you know, Raven uh, technically supporting, you know, here and there, Treyarch supports for zombies here and there, Beanox, High Moon, all these random studios, Toys for Bob, Everyone seems to have their hand in the pot that is Call of Duty right now. It's a potential situation where in the future, we don't have so many support studios. Instead, the main development team just has more time to work on their game, which could be a good thing ultimately. You know, the more polished a game is at launch, the better. Whatever it takes to get to that point is probably the right direction to go. But also, it's interesting to note because I think it was in an Activision report not too long ago that they've got games planned out all the way through like 2027 or 2028. Obviously, the games are far from being fully in development, but they've got their rough ideas. All right, 2027 is going to be this from Treyarch. 2028 will be this from Sledgehammer, so on and so forth. So I imagine the uh, the ideas floating around in those meetings are going to be pretty exciting. But then most importantly, we got this news, and this is a complete game changer and quite frankly is good for every single Call of Duty player. Phil Spencer on Call of Duty. He confirms that there will be 100% parity on content for Call of Duty on all platforms. He says, we have no goal of somehow using Call of Duty to get you to buy an Xbox console. There's no incentive to buy an Xbox if you are strictly a Call of Duty player. He confirms that there won't be a platform exclusive beta anymore for Call of Duty and exclusivity in general for Call of Duty is done. We are now going to be in a state once this final contract with Sony runs out here where it does not matter if you're playing on Xbox, it does not matter if you're playing on PlayStation, it does not matter if you're playing on PC, and at one point in time further on down the road, it won't matter if you're playing on Nintendo, everyone is going to get the same content on the same game on the same day. And that is phenomenal. And I wanted to do some research, so I went ahead and I looked it up. Back in 2010, Microsoft and Activision signed a deal that gave Xbox exclusivity for, you know, DLCs and all sorts of stuff like that. And back in the day, this was uh, pretty crazy exclusivity. You know, uh, games on Xbox would get DLC content a month 
before PlayStation and PC, which was pretty wild. And then uh, during Black Ops 3 in 2015, that's when Sony signed an exclusivity contract with Activision. And the uh, exclusivity was not as strict in some places. For most content, it was like a week difference initially. Now, obviously, it's more platform specific stuff like uh, Spec Ops was a year long thing. Survival was a year long thing on PlayStation first. Uh, the Oni Operator Pack was exclusive for PlayStation for a while, the combat packs and stuff like that. Uh, not nearly as big as month long gaps, with the exception of obviously survival and modes like that. But this has now been a 13 year long thing where if you were someone who cared about post launch Call of Duty content or being able to acquire all of the content that a game title had to offer from Call of Duty, you had to buy a specific platform. And in the middle of those 13 years, you had to switch platforms no longer 13 years later after this next contract runs out like i said we're on even grounds all across the board now currently xbox and microsoft do own activision they do own call of duty but they said that when they did this purchase they would honor any current contracts that sony has with activision and right now we're still in the midst of a contract an exclusivity contract that the two have and this current exclusivity contract that sony does have for call of duty is set to expire in 2024 and apparently it's set to expire before treyarch's cod 2024 title drops meaning it's probably going to be like an early summer or something next year and this means that for COD 2024, we're not going to have a PlayStation exclusive weekend. It's going to be same access for everyone at the same time. Launch is not going to have any extra benefits. You're not going to get any PlayStation specific operator skins or blueprints or anything when you uh, buy the game and you pre-order digitally wherever. It is 100% balanced on every single platform, which is absolutely awesome. This is great news for, like I said, all Call of Duty players. So, like I said, it's certainly been a long time coming, a very long time coming, but starting next year with Call of Duty 2024, we're back on even grounds, and it will not matter what console you want to play COD on or what platform, rather, you want to play COD on between Xbox, PlayStation, PC, or eventually Nintendo, when that does end up happening as well, which will be pretty interesting. Same content for everyone. So, this is definitely some very exciting stuff. Hopefully, this is a trend that continues long term uh obviously sony did sign like a whole 10-year deal with microsoft and with xbox to say call of duty is guaranteed to be on playstation for the next decade i imagine that early on into that contract they're gonna be talking about extensions there 15 years 20 years whatever they want it to be right who knows what call of duty will be in 10 years time even but overall this is an absolute win an absolute w for all call of duty fans and all call of duty players so Great news here today. That said, that's going to wrap things up. If you enjoyed, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee you're up to date with absolutely everything going on in COD, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.